What's up guys, it's your boy Zion, and I'm not feeling too well guys, so we're gonna make this a pretty short and sweet video because my throat hurts, and I don't like talking or yelling. So, Jer is down here, he's an NPC that shows up in the tower on the weekend and sells exotics. So this week he has um, the Crest of Alfie Loopy for Titans, the Radiant Dance Machines, the Void Fang Vestments, and the No Land Beyond. I definitely say pick up these first three. If you don't have them, pick them up. Like I picked up the Crest of Alpha Loopy and the Void Hunt Investments because I didn't have them. Uh, so if you go ahead and have the coins for them, pick up all three. If not, pick up whichever one's good for you. The Crest of Alpha Loopy has a really cool strategy because you can respawn teammates faster and spawn more orbs. That if you have four Titans and like two Blade Dancers, you can make entire teams rage quit in the soup. In the Crucible, I almost said Super Bowl, uh, but you can make them rage quit in the Crucible because there's infinite orbs. The Blade Dancers can go ahead and Blade Dance forever, and it's the most annoying thing ever. The Radiance Dance Machines are solely a Crucible exotic if you don't already have a good exotic for Crucible. But if you're running a Hunter in the um, Crucible, you're going to want like a Mask of the Third Man or a Aclephage Symbiote. Are probably your best too. If you don't have those, these will do just fine because you move quicker while aiming down sight. So if you get on gunfights, you actually move quick and it throws people off if you strafe like really super quick and quick and they're not expecting it. So these are actually pretty good. Um, plus, they're green and they look pretty. So let's go ahead. The Void Fang vestments are always good, um, but they've been around since like the beginning of the game. Basically, you spawn in with grenade energy. So once again, it's really good in the Crucible for uh, Voidwalker or even Sunsinger because you always have grenades. Um, plus, you have enhanced Axiom Bolt and you can carry more hand cannon and special weapon air ammo. Uh, the No Land Beyond is the absolute like bee's knees. I'm just fucking with you. It's the worst gun in the game. It's literally like the thorn or bad juju before the patch. Um, so I would pick it up. I have one simply because um, they can't leave it this bad. They have to do something to go ahead and like balance this gun out, make it somewhat usable because right now you can't even use it. Um, there's some people who run it in Crucible just so they have further range and can run their shotgun. And I've actually tested a build out like that where it's kind of viable. But it's it's the worst thing in the world to use. Um, so pick it up if you don't have one just because they're going to have to buff it at some point. But if you already have one or a couple, as in some of my friends' cases, yeah, don't pick it up. Don't waste your strange coins. Then there's shards like always and exotic engrams. I picked up these. Raul screwed me. He gave me two of these. I got the Alpha Loopy and the Void Fangs that I just bought right back, but with better stats. So it worked out. Then for upgrades, the Knucklehead Radar, the Acleophage Symbiote, the Insurmountable Skull Fort, Crest of Alpha Loopy, and the Void Fang Vestments. I wouldn't upgrade them. I would just buy new ones because I want to save my 8,000 Glimmer. Then there's the Sunbreakers, the Plan C, the Invected, the Last Word, Mighty Multi-Tool, Bad Juju, and Hard Light. And those are all your upgrades, plus Auto Rifle Telemetries and Fusion Rifle Telemetries, which are really helpful if you just got like the Abyss Defiant or um, you got like the Plan C or Pocket Infinity. They help a lot. And then um, he finally has Heavy Ammo since, which I already bought a lot of them. I spent damn near 20 strange coins on heavy ammo since. Yeah, I got a lot. Uh, you should probably do the same. Make sure you go ahead and aren't that dick face in your raid group who doesn't ever have rockets. Unless you're the sword bearer, then you don't really need them. So, that's his gear for this week, guys. Um, I went ahead and I can show you the ones I got. Like I said, Crest of Alpha Lupi for a Warlock. It's not going to show me a preview because I'm not a Warlock. But, really high strength, um, and then, well, I kept calling that the Crest of Alpha Loopy. It's the Void Fang Vestments for the Warlock, um, and then the Crest of Alpha Loopy, which, um, has, a, I got some really high intellect off it, like, really ridiculous intellect. So, 
Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, a comment, a favorite, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Ow.